Well, as I let the public know yesterday through a statement, I'm going to take the opportunity to review each file in detail, and after I review the file, I'll make a decision as to whether or not the appeals will be upheld or rejected. So it's possible that the decision could then be overturned? Overturned in terms of the appeals being rejected? Yeah. Yes. It all depends on the information um, that is contained in the file, and as a re result, I'll have to use my ministerial discretion. This is your first uh, serious decision as a minister. Are you looking forward to it? Well, all decisions are serious in my book. This one is very public. It's very public, and that's what comes along with the territory of being a minister and being in a position of leadership. I have to be prepared to deal with the real tough issues and also the not so tough issues, and I'll do it with balance. Okay. You spoke in the conventional in a bit, so the <coughs> That's a young yeah. Is there more on that? I know the police are actively conducting the investigation. As you know, I think one or two persons have been brought before the courts. So I think it would be inappropriate for me to speak any further as to um, the course of the police and the action that they're going to take. Um, at the same time, I can speak on behalf of the family. Um, as any human being can relate, it's, it's the most difficult experience to actually have to go through is losing a uh, young person as part of your family so tragically so the best thing I could do as a member of parliament is to um, bring some level of comfort and support to them but at the same time I have to be conscious of the fact that you know when, once you put yourself in someone's shoes, shoes like that it's very difficult to offer any words to bring comfort.